and Diamond Shine. So, guys, I'm so glad to have you in the studio today. So, listen, before I get into what we're doing today, I, I just want to let you guys know that during the week, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with candle makers just like you. Yes. I basically help people get started with their business. Before you go on Amazon spending up all your coins, make sure you schedule an appointment with me so I can help you save money. Because a lot of times we go in there, we buy fragrance, we go to Michael's, <laughs> and we start buying their fragrances, and we're sitting there looking at the candle like, um, I can't smell nothing, and it's burning in front of you. It's just going straight down to the middle. Why is it doing that? You know, so this is where I come in. Um, when I first started, I had no diamond shine to help me. I wish I had me because I'm telling you I would have just booked me and that would have just been the end of all my troubles so yeah we do Wicked we do Brandon we do labels I even have like um started actually last week I started like doing different things where I do training off YouTube like stuff that's more private and I'm starting to upload this stuff to my website so I'm gonna link that in there or whatever um, I'm gonna be doing a video on drinks like fusion candle drinks gel like people that's interested in working with gel guys just stay tuned we have a lot of great exciting things happening on the channel all right so listen today we're gonna be doing a cute little candle and Guys, this is silicone mold that I have that's like donut holes. It's like a half of a donut hole. It's not even a whole thing. So, guys, you can really just get like a, a spear mold and you can do this as well. So, you know, like I basically want you guys to be able to access this. But I had got this from Flexi Mode a long time ago and they're not even taking orders right now. So, you know. But, guys, the good thing is I did learn how to make silicone. And I know how to make silicone molds now. So, I'm getting ready to start uploading uh, different silicone molds to my website as well I just want to help out because I already see we have a problem okay all right so this is what we're gonna be using um we I'm gonna be using a straight sided come on y'all straight sided sausage jar yeah <laughs> yeah okay so I'll be using a straight sided sausage jar we will be whipping this thing all the way out. There will be no bottom pour. Guys, we are whipping this thing from start to finish. I don't know if you're ready. We're going to be doing it with, um, I think I'm going to end up doing this like a little Christmassy one. Yeah, because it's the holidays and I've been wanting to give you guys holiday ideas. So, we're going to use some Christmas sprinkles. I'm bringing these back out again, guys. Use these last on my pretzel video. Um, it's Christmas time and uh, we're going to have to use some Christmas stuff. So, all right, guys, if you are ready, let's get right on into it. All right, so this is my piping bagging cup, okay, with my piping tip. You're going to go ahead and just load this on up. Okay, so we're going to do something to these donut holes because we don't want to just have donut holes that's plain. Well, even though you can because they're going to be fine. You know, plain and Jane and everything. They're going to be fine. But we're doing a Christmas, so we have to make this thing look like Christmas. Alright, so if you know how to sing, say, doesn't it look like Christmas? Doesn't it look like Christmas? Feels so lovely. Yes, yes. It feels like Christmas, guys. So the first thing I want you guys to do, I'm going to make sure I'm all the way in on this, this glass jar right here. Let me get in on it. Okay, let's get in. Yes, there we go. Yes, you're looking good, Mr. Jar. All right. Okay. Okay, so I'm wearing some gloves today. I don't feel like fighting with these gloves either. All right, so we're going to go ahead and squeeze some on in here. Okay, we're just going to squeeze it around in a little circle. Just go on and make yourself a nice little bed. All right. Okay. So, now that we got our little circle in here, I just want to add a little bit more. Like, go around the wick. It'd be nice, guys, if you can just go up the wick. Let me tell you what happens when you go up the wick. You reduce the air. Because sometimes when you burn these, they burn really funny because it's a lot of air. But if you can go up the wick as you go, like kind of wrap the wick with wax that will reduce the air you know so that's the, that's a little trick that i learned from uh shape of b okay sabrina butler come on down the price is right all right so let's go and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take these donut holes and we are getting ready to frost them and add 
our little sprinkles to them to make them look like Christmas. To make them look like Christmas. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and take this and dip. We're going to dip our little donut holes in there. Come on in. That's why I had to have some gloves on today because I'm going to dip. Dip, baby, dip. All right. Okay, so we did that. Next thing we want to do is take a little bit of sprinkles. Sprinkle that right on the round one in there. All right, that's cute. All right, here we go. You see that? Okay, I see you. I see you. Oh, you're so cute. All right, so we're going to add this to the jar. We're just going to make sure we put it in here. Um, put it in here. Just, yeah, kind of mash it in. Make sure it's seen. You know, make sure it's seen. And don't get this really dirty on the inside. Mine's is dirty on the outside, but don't like smear and stuff all on the inside. Like be as neat as possible, y'all, because people are going to be drawn to this jar when they see this cute, unique activity that's going on. Okay, so we could sprinkle, or we could do like a little, we could sprinkle these sprinkles in there. We could do like a little light dip. You could do a lot of light dip. Not too much. When I say light, I mean light. Because if not, you're going to have it looking like Sonic the Hedgehog, okay? And you don't want that. So let's do a little light dip. And even on mine, that's a little bit too much for me. I don't want all of that. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take some of this off. Better now. Yeah, it do look a little better. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to leave it right there. Let me put me some gloves back on. Yes. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 1.37 p.m. Okay, thank you Siri. All right, so let's get back to this candle. Okay, so now let's go back to piping this candle. We're going to go ahead and, and release this frosting in here. And we're just going to go up. We're going to go up a little bit. We're not going to go up too much because one thing I don't like is spillage. A lot of people do spillage in their jars and they let them go up so far. There's a lot of spillage, but me, I don't like that. Because I don't like to tell nobody to use no plate. I don't want to buy Because if I got to tell them to use a plate, then I'm just going to have to give them a plate myself. Okay? And I'm not about to do all that. I'm not about to do that. Okay? So, go ahead and dip me, dip me a little donut. I'm going to sprinkle this one because this is on the top. And you can see it more. So I just want a little sprinkle. I don't want a whole lot. Okay. Yeah, I don't want... Because you could go on a Dollar Tree website and buy them some plates. And they only a dollar. And you could just add it on to the price of the candle. And I think they shipping is like $4.50. They're not expensive either. You can get it on, in bulk. It's like some candle uh, holder type plates. I don't know. It's, it's the plates that people use. And they got like a, a, a curve on it where it don't you know liquid and stuff just can't spill off of it easily so i mean that's something you can buy if you do want to have spillage shout out to my spillage people yes okay so we got two we got two donut holes on this candle right here on the top now 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 this up to you whether or not you want to add another one but i'm gonna do this just for my crazy people that's looking for another one like girl if you don't put another one right there i'm gonna just go ahead I'm going to sprinkle this on them, on here. Okay. Okay. I want to make sure you guys can see that. Okay, here we go. And I want to add a little bit more light. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure y'all can see it. I don't need no complaints. Because y'all be complaining and stuff. And I last week, I ain't going to lie. This girl got on here and talk about, oh, yeah, volume too loud. And I had to apologize for the volume because I was just, it was just so late. I was recording that video. And I had apologized and she went right underneath my apology, like over top of my apology and said some smart stuff like, oh, yeah, volume. And I was like, wow, you know, just be happy and appreciate somebody took their time out and made a video for you for free so you can learn and be great. Oh, my God. Where's the gratefulness in this generation? Okay, so now we're going to decorate the top of it, okay? Now, we could leave this and, and not even whip the top or whatever. We could do it like that. It's just so many ways to make this top look so great. So, maybe I should add another hole in there. Let's see how that would look. Because what I'm doing is I, I'm basically doing this so you guys can see it. And you can just determine whether or not you want to do it this way. Or you want to decorate the top and just let a hole come out. We could do it that way too. But I just want to show you how everything looks. 
okay so we just add another hole right there okay so we got four holes on the top so let's just go ahead and we could decorate the top of it just to see how it's going to look just put some whip right there we could put whip in the middle we could put some whip right there that's cute i like that that's really cute but guess what just because it's cute don't mean I'm going to do it, okay? We're going to go ahead and we're going to do what we do. We're going to go ahead and make this candle come to life. We're going to do what we do best. Okay? And that's just that. Because that's just the kind of people we are. We just so, we just so different. We just so creative. I want to bang on this. Because I want this to settle a little bit more. Okay, cool. So now, you see when I bang on it, how it went down more? Cause it was so much air and so much fluff and stuff in there so now i got more room to work with i could actually put another donut hole on the top so i got two more left so i could i could either i could whip it i could whip it up a little bit and i'm gonna add two more donut holes to the top all right so pay attention y'all pay attention come on put your glasses on mary put your glasses on mary all right here we go now this is the final showdown right here now make sure when you whip that, you whip that really cute because this is what's going to show on your candle, the top. Okay? So now we're going, and remember, make sure your donut holes look good because this is what's going to show. So don't have your little Sonic the Hitchhog donut holes. Make sure you take it and sprinkle it carefully. Okay? No Sonics. Okay, so I'm going to change my gloves. See, that's why y'all got to get these little cheap gloves, these little, um... Uh, the packs is the packs is really cheap. You can go on eBay and get them. They the uh, gloves that you get when you work in the kitchen, and you get like a thousand of them for nothing. Maybe, maybe like a few dollars, like no more than like eight dollars, five dollars. I mean, they cheap. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this donut hole right here, and I don't have to put two up there, but because I got two left, I'm gonna go ahead and put another one, and. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm going to sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Just sprinkle it lightly. All right. Okay. So this is our Christmas donut hole candle. Yes. Okay. All right. That is really cute. Okay. It looks like, I don't know. I don't really like them looking side by side like that. That's cute though. It's got a little funny look to it, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pipe it a little bit more. Okay. Um, yeah, just pipe it a little bit more. And you want to just go ahead and sprinkle it. Okay. Alright, so I like this candle. This, this candle is really cute, so I just got to clean it up, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post this on the, on the channel and on the website. No, actually in the Facebook group, guys. Follow me in the Facebook group. You will not be disappointed. We, I mean, them girls in there, they are so excellent. They make some really nice candles. And if you need some inspiration, they are most of them are better than me. If not all of them. They better than me, honey. They be making them candles look so good. I be like, I got to step my game up and get like them, okay? 